At this point, our team has tested a ridiculous number of password managers. Today, I'm ranking them all in a password manager tier list. I'll show you which ones prove to be reliable and which ones really aren't worth your time. I'll let the wheel of fate decide the order and it landed on one of my favorite options, NordPass. NordPass is a regular and best password manager lists and there are quite a few good reasons for that. For starters, NordPass uses modern industry standard encryption and undergoes regular independent audits. That combination helps explain its strong security track record, including the fact that it's never been breached. On top of that, NordPass uses a zero knowledge architecture, meaning only you can access your vault. And with NordPass, you can safely store your account logins, credit card details, addresses, and notes with file attachments, and then easily access it all whenever you want. The only thing I'm missing here is a bit more legroom in terms of customization. The vault can feel a bit rigid. However, for beginners, the fact that it's straightforward is a bonus. This makes NordPass really easy to get used to, whether you install it on a PC or mobile. My favorite thing, though, may be the browser extension. It autofills fields with the click of a button and suggests saving new passwords or even pass keys, which are a safer alternative to passwords. NordPass also has an impressive set of additional features, like a password health checker, which spots weak, old, and reused logins, a personal data breach scanner, and the new addition of email aliases for extra privacy online. And to top it all off, NordPass remains one of the most budget-friendly options on this tier list. So I think it's pretty clear that this one deserves its spot in the S tier. By the way, you can also grab a discount for NordPass through this QR code or the link in the description. I've got great deals for all the higher tier picks down there, so check them out. Next up is Keeper. In some ways, Keeper is actually pretty similar to NordPass. Keeper's never experienced a breach, has a zero-knowledge architecture, and uses strong encryption to hide and protect what's in users' vaults. What stood out to our team was Keeper's set of features, including the self-destruct tool in case somebody tries to breach your vault, Keeper Chat, a secure encrypted messaging app, Breach Watch, Keeper's version of dark web monitoring. However, just know this feature, which comes by default with most password managers, costs extra here, plus all the essentials like the strong password generator, reliable autofill, and password security checker come included as well. And everything is packaged in an intuitive app, so no complaints there. Even so, when tallying a final score, I've got to deduct a point for some features being locked behind a paywall and place it in A tier. Now let's talk about Bitwarden. One of the biggest standout features of this provider is the fact that it's completely open source, meaning it's constantly being checked by security experts or literally anyone who has coding knowledge. Bitwarden has a pretty good free plan, but it's lacking when it comes to security, doesn't offer emergency access, and won't get security reports about breaches or the health of your passwords. If you only need a place to put your passwords, it'll do the job, but don't expect a modern or convenient app with Bitwarden free or premium. Sure, the interface is a bit of a nostalgia trip if that's your thing, but it can be difficult to get used to. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this password manager to beginners. However, it is solid enough to go into the B tier. Next up, let's take a look at Apple's built-in password manager. If you're using Apple devices, it can feel like the best password manager for Mac or iOS simply because it's there by default and makes managing passwords feel seamless. Of course, if you're also rocking a couple of non-Apple devices, then it immediately becomes a problem. There's no Android app, and although you can technically use it on Windows via iCloud for Windows, the experience is inconvenient at best. The app also lacks advanced features, so essentially you're just getting storage and not much else. I see Apple Password as a decent starting point, but for a full solution, you'll need to upgrade. So all things considered, Apple goes into D tier. What about Dashlane? This password manager is a little different from the rest because it decided to completely ditch the Windows desktop app and only works via mobile apps and browser extensions. They put some real effort into making those app versions nice, and they're especially polished on mobile with pretty much the same feature set for both Android and iOS. I'd even call it one of the best password manager iOS options. And no matter which app you're on, Dashlane has a decent set of tools, with Dark Web Scanner being a prime example. As for security, Dashlane is pretty standard, covering all the key security features that a top password manager should have. However, the quality and extras come at a higher cost, which seems a bit pricey relative to what the app offers. So 
All things considered, we decided to put Dashlane into the C tier of our best password manager tier list. Next up is 1Password, a popular password manager known for its strong security. Beyond the standard protections, 1Password gives every user a unique secret key, which acts as a second login credential. When you sign in on a new device, you have to enter both your master password and the secret key, adding an extra layer of protection against account takeovers. 1Password also boasts really intuitive and easy to use apps. Plus, 1Password's vaults, unlike NordPass's, are much more customizable, especially on mobile devices. 1Password has a decent set of features too, with the Watchtower being the strongest. Watchtower monitors your account for old, reused, and weak passwords, looks out for data breaches, points out any missing account security setup steps, and shows which of your passwords can be converted to pass keys. But where 1Password really stands out is its family plan. Their family plan allows users to share entire vaults instead of just passwords, and also has guest account options, which is a great way to give limited password access to your kids. The only thing I can complain about is the occasional autofill issue, which means that sometimes I have to manually search through my vault to find what I need. Now, pricing-wise, 1Password is also friendly, especially with that family plan. And they even give you a 14-day free trial, which is a great way to test it out. So all that in mind, I can confidently place this password manager in S tier. It's one of my team's favorites. Now, I know a lot of people still rely on Google Password Manager that's built into Chrome, but honestly, the only possible benefit here is the convenience. The drawbacks here aren't minor, like a limited feature set. Google Password doesn't even have a zero-knowledge architecture, which means if Google is pressured by the authorities to reveal your passwords, it totally could. Not to mention the fact that everything you have in the Google ecosystem is under the same Google Password, which creates a single point of failure. So if anyone compromises your Google account, they'll get access to all of your passwords too. So yeah, this is F tier material. If you're looking specifically for something simplistic with a really low price tag, there's RoboForm. RoboForm's UI might be somewhat dated, sure, but the app has one of the most straightforward approaches to password management. It uses best password manager security practices, and it doesn't cram its apps with features while still offering all the essential tools and a decent amount of customizability. Looking specifically at features, RoboForm has a security center to check for weak or outdated passwords. It also has functional autofill and really efficient form filling too. And while the desktop app can look outdated, it actually has quite the modern and intuitive mobile apps, which interestingly is why RoboForm is one of the best password manager for Android and iOS picks. And all that comes along with a really friendly price tag, especially when you use the discount link in the description. In the end, RoboForm joins other top password managers in the A tier. Another spot on my password manager list belongs to Bitdefender. This company is mostly known for their antivirus app, which there's no denying is for sure one of the best, but unfortunately their password manager leaves much to be desired. Bitdefender Password Manager is mostly useful just for basic storage and its decent autofill capabilities. Besides that, the feature set is pretty small, so I really would only recommend this password manager if you're already part of the Bitdefender ecosystem. Otherwise, you've got better options. So this provider goes into C tier. ProtonPass also comes from a known cybersecurity company, though this one is a nonprofit. In addition to Pass, Proton has its top-of-the-line VPN and a great Gmail alternative. Honestly, ProtonPass has the potential to become one of the best password manager for Windows options and beyond. Like the entire Proton ecosystem, Proton's password manager has a privacy-first approach and has a completely open source app. Plus, they've also introduced Proton Sentinel, a tool that combines human security experts with AI to spot account takeover attempts and prevent them. The interface is clean and modern too, easy to use if you don't get put off by a vibe that's a little bit more techy. ProtonPass has some pretty cool features too, like its built-in 2FA authenticator, secure vault sharing, dark web monitoring, and even unlimited hide my email aliases, which you can use instead of your real email for extra privacy. However, ProtonPass is pricier when compared to the competition, and it's still pretty new, so it hasn't stood the test of time just yet. But if it continues going in the direction it's going, I'm pretty sure that we'll see ProtonPass in the S tier in the future. For now though, it's going into A tier. But LastPass won't be so lucky. 
This password manager had quite a few security issues in the past, but what put the nail in the coffin for me was the big LastPass breach scandal that went on for months. The company stayed quiet after the 2022 incident and later claimed no user data was stolen, a claim that was eventually proved untrue. And after that, LastPass still markets itself as a secure password manager? Hmm. Look, I guess you could make the argument that maybe you're safe because lightning doesn't strike the same spot twice, but then again, it did already strike the same spot multiple times in the case of LastPass. So I'm not gonna bother reviewing this provider in any other categories. It goes straight to the F tier. Next up is Norton Password Manager. Like Bitdefender, Norton is also mostly known as a great antivirus, but their password manager still has some catching up to do. It's secure and reliable, but pretty basic, with the ability to store and autofill passwords and not much else. This provider might be a decent option for beginners, but even then, it makes more sense if you're already part of the Norton ecosystem and don't want to look for an additional tool. So Norton goes into the C tier for now. Maybe it'll climb higher in the future. And that's our final password manager lineup. Everything in S tier is the easiest for me to recommend. A tier is also strong with just minor trade-offs. B tier is safe and usable, but missing the polish. Password managers in C tier are okay, but there are definitely better options. And D and F tier picks are, at least in our opinion, not worth spending your time or money on. Look, there's no universal best password manager for every single person's different needs, but rest assured you can safely choose any of the options from our higher tiers and you should have a strong password vault to keep your digital life secure. Grab the discounts link below for any of the providers I recommended, and I'll see you around in the Cyber News Reviews channel.